So we're back in one of my favourite spots. I haven't been here for a little while, so I thought I'd give it a quick run round. It's quite late in the day to be fair, it's about two o'clock. So I've had a lot of work to do, we just got back from Skeg. So just trying to catch up really. So we're gonna do this town maybe another town and see if we can find anything decent. Pretty certain this isn't Gucci. <laughs> that is the best label in the world though, isn't it? It's five but I love that embroidery. If it only if it was real, that would be pretty good but you can just tell obviously so this is a Ein Greca motorcycle jacket but it's I think it's quite a basic one it's not Gore-Tex or Cordura or anything like that so I'm gonna leave it, it is 10 pound though but we don't need to see it uh, yeah it's really basic I doubt I'll get it gone for a lot of money so we'll just leave that one so I don't always pick up this brand but this is Howie's Tea it's 100% organic cotton, it's like a, I think it's a walking brand, I'm not too sure. Weirdest place to put a tag, but anyway, it just says always in beta, in it. I'm not sure if it's stained a little bit, but it is two pound. Just bang that in the washing machine, can we? I've seen some go for like 20 pound, 15 pound, so I think I'll take that one. I think that should be alright. So this is a Chris Cornell, I think it's like a tall t-shirt. I don't know much about Chris Cornell, but I know something to do with Soundgarden or something like that, I'm not sure, maybe I'm completely wrong, but it's the Higher Truth Tour in 2016. I won't get much, but considering it's three pound, probably like around 15, 20 quid again. Just what basic, a little bread and butter stuff. I think that should be all right. Oh, this is one maybe for <laughs> the upcoming winter. It's a nice wool over his jumper. It's got that cable net thing going on. Let's see what it's made out of. Hopefully it's actually wool. 100% British wool. Who would have thought? So that's £5.50. Definitely gonna take that. I always tend to get these sold quite quickly for like £30, £40 even sometimes. Just depends really, so that'd be alright. Floor bonus, could it be? A Reese Pure Wool Jumper. I think that's the first floor bonus which is actually paid off. Oh no. Look at that hole. Not today. I'll just put that there. I'll put it back on the floor. We're so close to getting a decent floor bonus, but it's not happening yet. We'll get there one day. Picked up one of these last week. A Wales rugby top, 5 95 I'm going to leave it because I'm not 100% sure that it sells. So I'm going to leave it for a little bit and see what that one does. The other one I've got. I think this Reese women's right, double breasted jacket thing could do all right. What size is it? It's a medium. So there's a few pulls in it and stuff and it's it's looking a bit tired so we're gonna put that back we've got these two here so yeah hey we're back. it's only a couple of bits but it's all right we'll go around the corner now see what's there as well i hate walking so this hill always does my head in when i walk back up to the car but it's all good we found some nice bits it's normally quite expensive it's, I don't know, I hardly ever come in. For example, here you've got your John Smedley's. They're all £10. There's like six of them. Is that one there? That's a Reese one. But there's loads of John Smedley's here. And they're not really worth it. But I did see this here, which has got me a bit excited. Which could be pretty good. This is a Barracuda, but for Willoughby tailoring. So it's proper vintage. If I look at that fur thing going on, I'm feeling it, man. Like, I'm proper feeling it. Now, it is £10, but I just feel like... I don't know, I've just got a good feeling about it. I'm not sure about it massively, but I know Barracuda stuff does really well, and that's like the old Barracuda as well. So it is proper vintage Barracuda, so I might give that a go. There's also a nice little Jay Lindeberg polo for £5. So it is still expensive. A few bits here for like seven, eight pounds and stuff. Like that's seven quid, this G Star. But I think these two should do pretty well. But this one could be a bit grayly, possibly. So I'm looking at this one here. This is a Lock Me a Cashmere jumper. It feels still very cashmere -y, but it is £10 though. So, I don't know if it's looking faded or anything. I can't really see this like, but oh, look at that. That's answered the question. Forget it. It's been mash up. Right, this one's £5.50. I've seen a few go for like 25 30 Obviously, you've got Yeezy Gap, which is like a lot more. But an XL as well. I think that should be alright. And I think this Musto jumper. I hardly see must on now, but it's six quid, so I'm not too sure. How big is it? It's a double XL. It looks like it's in good nick, so... Yeah, let's do that one as well. 
they are pricing a few bits up like look at that it's a bit dirty though but it's a nice hackett hackett jacket it's a bit stained up and they want 12 pounds for it so i mean it could be pretty good but i'm just not feeling it it's a bit it looks a bit faded as it is anyway so we'll leave that but this is quite interesting this is a looks like a vintage nike like you know windbreaker i think it's a bit dead though like it's stained up some faded really battered about and they want nine pound for it so i'm not feeling it. it's a bit flimsy as well so we'll leave that one what's mad about this england shirt i remember when this one came out 2007 2009 i remember was it something like we didn't qualify we lost pretty bad that year one of the years i can't remember but i remember buying one of these at sports directs for like a tenner they were just chucking them away because they couldn't get rid of them but now they can sell for like 30 odd pound or something so it's an xl might wait for the next tournament to come up before selling it but i think that should do all right well that could be nice this is a hogs country shirt i was going to tell you about something else just now but i just saw this now and it's just wrapped up in that so i think we'll take that like i've sold like the country shirts for like 20 quid before so if it's brand new maybe a little bit more but it was this that i was interested in these are probably can't see it but Pakeman, Cattle and Carter. Now they do shirts and stuff and the shirts don't do amazingly well but some of these some of these braces can go for like 40, 50 pound or something. So there's not a lot on eBay at the minute at all. If I don't think it's I think it's one on eBay. Listed at 50 quid so I'm gonna give these a go. I might just take the trousers with me as well. Just for the crack. Thank you very much. Yeah. Go down on the old leaving. Got some croc ballet shoes here. They're three pound fifty. Taking them. Got some classic Reeboks. They're five and a half. Taking them as well. I should have looked better, but I don't. I'm not very good at looking. I just kind of zoom in and out. Mm, and then I found this as well. This is a guest watch. It's in some comps like or somewhere or so, but maybe a pound. Let's we'll see how much it is. If it's cheap, then we'll get it. I think it's cheap though. So, yeah, these guest watches. Some of them are like forty pound, fifty pound. So this could be something, maybe twenty quid. I don't know. But either way, it's a watch in it. Well, it's not a super banger, but it's something I love picking up. This is a vintage. Can't even get the label out. Mountain equipment. Look how old that is. Got that a little bit of piling on it, but we can get rid of that. That is a beaut, man. Right, always a walk and wear stuff. People like certain things and then they go out of season so they can never find it again. So I think this could be something that could reunite with somebody. I think someone will like that one for definite, but old school walking gear always does well. It feels a little bit heavier, so obviously the technology isn't the best as it is now, but I love this stuff. Like, I'd keep it myself. I'm tempted to, you know. Proper old school. Well, I think, I think that's it for in here. There's nothing much out. All right, let's just get this one. Thank you. You're supposed to just have a look at this game, that's all, please. Thank you. This is a last minute spot. Not too sure about it though. It's a uh, Dirge of Cerberus, PS2. I looked at Terra Peak, like the old, so like it goes back a year. One of these sold for like 30 odd quid, so I don't know, might be all right. It could sell for maybe a little bit more, I'm not too sure, so we'll just see. But it's got all the stuff in it. I think it's all good. But yeah, I think that's pretty good. Absolute shop, what a grail. Normally that shop is a bit expensive, and to be fair, these bits were a bit expensive, but definitely worth getting. So obviously you saw these ones, these were the spokes, spokachinos, just nice. They're all right, but check these out, so. We've got this Nike Tech fleece. It's like more like a, um, what do you call it now? Like a cardigan thing going on. That was eight quid, so that was all right. Not bad, that could probably go for like 35, 40, something like that. But look at this. Ooh. Vintage Nike rugby shirt, and it's, an, it's on an XL as well. Gray tag, eight pound. What a beaut. I've sold on these before for like 80, 90 pound before. Beautiful, but the best thing about it, we've got two of them. 
We've got two of these absolute graily pieces. This is a large one. So again, these can sell nicely. Chuff with that, but then got this. Sail Sharks, back up north, six pound. Sebastian Chabal fans, we're gonna love this one. Yeah, that was it. There were a couple of rugby shirts, but I don't think they were very valuable, but mega chuffed with that. I think they are the finds of the day. Beautiful bits. This bag's full. Can't believe this bag is full. We've only been to one town and we've filled the bag up just nice. So, we're chuffed with that. I'm not sure what time it is. It might be a bit too late. I was gonna hit up another town, but I might do that tomorrow. But either way, I think that's put me in a good mood. I think this could be pretty good. It was a £10, but I don't know. Barracuda collectors, they love this stuff. So possibly, it might not be anything, but possibly it might be something just because it's a bit rare. It's a bit rare, do you know what I mean? So we'll definitely give that one a go. So it's been actually really busy at the minute. So, oh, fuck my life. <laughs> And we just wanted to la, la, la. See, told you it's hard. Okay, told uh, you. Go on. We've not even had a chance to look at anything that you've picked up, have we? Because it's just been really full on. You've been yeah. competing at the competition. Yeah. We just had lots of other little things going on. Went to a jiu-jitsu competition on the weekend and it was quite fun. You came with all the oil. Yep. How do you find it? I enjoy it. I always like watching yeah. you compete. So I competed a couple of times. Lost my first match because he was like very big. So I volunteered for the higher weight division. And the guy was like, squeezed out. I got squeezed and I got absolutely squeezed. It was about 40 kilograms heavier than me, but it was hilarious. And then my second match, I won and it was all fun. The yeah. kids liked it, I think. Yeah, they were just doing cartwheels and stuff, so. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Watching the dad get absolutely battered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get it squeezed, man. I'm going to go back to the hometown. Excited for that. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty good. Like, I ain't been back up there for like, before COVID, isn't it? Like, Long three time. years, three years or something, four years nearly. Something stupid like that. So, look forward to that one. Obviously, we're going to try and get as much up there and see what happens and we can just see if we can pick up some good stuff. But I'm excited. And we wanted to let you guys know that we are expecting baby number three. So, Pete's pull-out game was weak. Yeah, yeah. But we're celebrating now. Pete's pull-out No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> it was planned. We planned, didn't we? It was a plan. Was it a plan? I tell them it was a plan. It was a plan. It was planned out perfectly. Like, long-term goals, all that kind of stuff. So, thanks for watching. Pop, right. pop a comment. I like, I like to read the comments. Yeah, thanks again for watching. Really appreciate your supporting the channel. We hit 23,000 subscribers, which is a bit mad to me. Like, I don't even know if people even watch it. Congratulations, Pete. Thanks for the part of the back. Appreciate that. So, thank you for the support and the continued support. We're just going to keep moving and moving on out. So, we'll see you up north next week at some point. It's a rolling amount of stuff. Watch Pete don't have a stuff. That's pretty good, though. Exactly. Yeah. Thanks again. Take care. Bye, guys. See you in a bit. See you in a bit.